But trust me, it's not about human rights. Had it been just a situation of human rights, I might not have been come here to ask you for help. We, the Baloch, could have dealt with it ourselves. What we are facing today is annihilation of an entire people. Our language, our culture, our history, our heritage, our children, our forefathers, and our coming generations simply being bulldozed out of existence. Not only is our culture and cuisine being altered, our very character is being changed, as we are being sub subjected to slow yet complete ethnic cleansing from our centuries-old Baluchistan. So what is our sin? Our crime is that God has gifted us with a land of immense wealth in terms of human as well as mineral resources. Greedy occupiers who wish to come and take this wealth have also given guarantees to major state companies and other corporations that they will not only have access to gas, gold, oil, copper, and mineral wealth of Baluchistan, but that Baluchistan will come to them prefit of any human existence except for non-Baluch settlers and land developers to ensure that very nature of Baluchistan in the next 100 years will be gone. Today, my appeal to you as friends of Baluchistan, if you don't wish to see us extinct like Egyptians of the fourth and fifth centuries, if you do not want to see us in the future, of mere, in the future as mere exhibits like the Aborigines and the indigenous people of Australia and North America, then speak up before we too become the Cree and Sioux of the Indian subcontinent. If you do nothing and let an entire people get wiped out, then I suggest to you that you too are complicit because your silence is painful and has not stopped the enemy from committing these crimes. It is not just those who kill us who bear this guilt. It is those who look the other way while this is being happening. I come from a family with a checkered history of fighting for the rights of the Baluch people. My father was Nawab Khairbakhshmari, who despite being in a position to be literally the king of a country, gave up everything so that he could liberate the people from misery and make them raise to the level where they would be considered equal citizens and share their secular values of liberal democracy and a sense of humor, a language, poetry, music across the world. Unfortunately, during his lifetime, and during the lifetime of many of our elders, including Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti, and stalwarts like Mir Gospaksh Bazinjo, and those who died in battlefield from 1948 to 2016, we could not win our freedom, but their blood will not go in vain. Every day that passes by war crimes of Pakistani Punjabi generals is being recorded by 10 to 15 year old children whose fathers have gone missing. You, on the other hand, can do your part and stand up for what is right, not because I ask you to do so, but because standing for justice and human rights is the only thing that dignified human beings involved in public affairs and politics should do. I thank you very much. Ladies